Yo guys, how's it going and welcome to a game that's probably a little bit old now, but I've never played it So I'm deciding that you know what it's time I try and play it I'm, I'm doing more solo games these days. So today I am playing the Stanley Parable don't really know what this game is so um Yeah, I, I guess we just begin the game The end is never the end the end is never the end is never the end is never the oh, okay I know I get it because it never ends. Okay, that's clever. I like this game this is the story Hi. of a man named Stanley. Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Okay. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Ugh. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. That Though is... he had been made exactly for this job. That's horrible. And Stanley was happy. Until? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. I don't know what this game is. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This is this a horror complete game. complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen oh no. solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Why am I... Is this... Is that because of the... Is it... Is it because there's a... Why am I spinning around? Oh no. Alright, and my controller was plugged in, so I've restarted. Okay. So what... What is this game? Is this going to be a horror game? Am I going to poo myself? What... What do I do? Can I jump? Okay, I can't. I can crouch. Let me just hide under the desk. Wait, what does that say? Does that say, I hate Mondays? But he did it every day. I feel like if I go out here, I'm gonna get a jump scare. Hello? Hello, 428? Steven? You're Tyler. Where All am I? his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, is this the meeting room? Where is the meeting room? Where's the meeting room? That didn't look like a meeting when room. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. What the f No, this is a horror game. I'm ter- I'm actually terrified. Hello? What? Hello? Yet there was not a single no. person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. How to solve a dispute with a co-worker? Let a ball up inside you. Take it out passive-aggressively- uh Okay. Never mind. To do. Synergize core value expenditures. Shift global market parade. Monetize free to play. Sure, whatever. Why do they keep closing behind me? Up. They said up. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. This is fancy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello, mister? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, I'm terrified. unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What, what he this? could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. 2845, 
What? How do I? How do Stanley I? just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Okay. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, what? since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. What am I? What device? What device are you talking about? Two eight four. Yes, I'm trying. Eight. I'm trying. Am I meant to be able to see this? Two. Eight. Four. For God. Five. It turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in. Uh -oh. And the door just opened all by itself. Okay. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Okay, so now. Oh, this looks scary. I'm just gonna run it. If I run it, nothing or bad will happen. Oh, I don't like this. I feel like it's gonna like I'm gonna be led into like doom or something. Now what? Why is it? What an odd place for a loading screen. Why wouldn't it? Oh, this is where a horror game starts, isn't it? That was the start of a horror game. Descending deeper into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Oh no. It was a stirring of emotion in his cowering in a corner. As though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why is there such a scary ambience? Oh, Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door. Oh, I don't know that. Mind control facility. Okay. Why am I in? Why am I in Professor X, Doctor Xavier's? Am I creating the X Men? Buzz. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. This is X Men. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. This did is X Men. Have the strength to find out. Yes. I do. I have the strength. I have the strength. I can do this! Another one. Now the monitors jump to life. Their fired? Nature revealed. Each um, any other the fired? Of an employee Another the fired! Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What? What am I playing? Okay. Click. Now what? This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Yes! Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Okay. No, I'm, I'm, he refused to believe it. Did he I? Couldn't accept it. Okay. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was yeah, unthinkable. No. Was yeah. it? Yes. Was it even possible? No. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? No way. What the but hell? Here was the proof? The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. I don't know that. Or sad. Or content, walking, eating, Offline. working, all of it monitored and commanded from Offline. this very place. And as the cold reality of his past Offline. began Offline. to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. What for is this? he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Console disabled. How do I do that? Oh, there. A button. Why does it have a four on? I'm still waiting for like a jump scare. I feel like every button I press is getting closer and closer. There might not be one. No one really... Okay. I click it? I mean, I pressed it. Everyone I've asked about this game didn't really tell me what it is. They kind of said, yeah, just, just play it. Just go for it. Okay. Let's take it. I, I go out here. 
five. Mind controls idle awaiting input. Okay. Man's using some Windows 4. System power. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and okay. to everything it stood for. So what am I doing? Off. No. No. Is that it? Blackness and a rising chill Racist. of uncertainty. Was it over? I don't know. Yes. I didn't like that. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Okay. Freedom was mere moments away. Until? And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, oh Stanley God. reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? What do you mean? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized oh! none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. So Perhaps I need to... his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or... Oh, I can move. Okay. Didn't realize I can move. He lives, it it's so be beautiful. Lives. And that was all he needed to know. No, oh, it's so beautiful. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. It's not open yet. I, in a second. Give me a second. Ugh. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. I feel it. A feeling of liberation. Yeah. The immense possibility of the new path before him. So immense. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. I can see it right now. And Stanley was happy. That's beautiful. So I think I think the point of this game, because I'm guessing I paid money for it, so I'm assuming it's not that. That's not it. I think you meant to just kind of figure everything out. Like you meant to try all the different endings. So now I've just woken up again. Just woken up again. Okay. So now. So maybe is Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. Yeah, they what were. What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. What about Perhaps this? he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard what? Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I mean, that computer was on. That was kind of a trace. Is there anything in... No, nothing in there. Any of these doors open? This door. This door must open. No? I like that noise. Turn that one off too. I'm saving them power. What's that say? Awaiting input. What? Input received. Yo! Hello? Anyone? No? Okay. Well, this one. Oh, just turned it off. Damn it. Come on. Why do we all hate Mondays? We work every day. I don't want... I don't want it... I don't want it to close behind me. Come on, team! How am I meant to get in these? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Or did I? Dun dun dun! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I did. But why are none of these doors open? Look, there's a computer on. I'm trying to save you electricity. Come on, man. Someone let me in. Hello? Okay. Ah, yes. Oh, no. Truly a room worth admiring. 
It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drinking it all in, I see what you did there. No, give me, give me a damn soda! Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. No, I want really a drink! Worth it. Give me a damn drink! What time? It's 5 to 12. It's 5 to 12. We're about to At get... this point, no, 25 past obsession with this room bordered on creepy... 25 past 11. reflected poorly on his overall okay, I'll personality. Okay, I'll move. It's possible that this is why... It, but at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. What? Okay. Can I scan my butt? Anything here? Anything? Door? Uh, what, are any of these doors going to open? How many? Oh. So they goes back through there. Let's keep going. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Wow. That's, that's mean. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Okay. Hello? Hello? I don't have a keycard. How do I not have a keycard? I'm like employee of the year. What's this say? Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. A thousand dollars? Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. Five thousand dollars. Do not jump from... Will cause death. We'll see about that. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Huh. I'm not your enemy, really. But in his okay. eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. The thing is, right? You say that. What the f... There wasn't that many... There wasn't that much paper before. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Why is there more paper Stanley this time? just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Input. Oh, every time. Every time a different PC is going to be on, and i got to input it. There's more paper this time. When Stanley came to a set nope. of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. Doesn't matter, bro. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. Yeah, just I did. To admire it. I'm running through this, bro. Running through wow. the six with yes. my what time? This room. A little bit what quicker a this time. Beautiful room. Yep. But peace eager out. to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Mm, no, I didn't. Nope. Stanley was so bad nope. at following the Nope, nope, nope. Shut up. Incredible, he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, so this time, don't jump off. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. So if I jump off, I'm I die. Not your enemy, really, I'm not. Okay. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. Oh. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing. What if I jump off here? All this time. What if I jump off There's here? Someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. That someone won't kill me. Forgotten about. That won't. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that Damn convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes, I, you do! I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you do something you? beautiful. No, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm okay. on your side. Okay, prove Give it. Give me a chance. Go for it. Danger, danger everywhere. Okay, this door? No. Okay, we go through this. This 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 feels creepy. I feel very creeped out. Do not stand on this side of the What do you mean this side? Where would I We've gone back in time. We've gone back in time. It was like twenty two past. Oh Now listen carefully, this is important. Okay, I'm gonna listen Stanley to it. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh dear. You know what? I trust you. 
Oh, thank God, you are willing to listen to me. Yeah, of course I am. I see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time. Well, then... The problem is all these choices. Okay. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I saw him. I just... I want it to stop. I've run in a square. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. What? What? Which one? Where did I... Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Here. Well, what is this? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, this standing, is beautiful. I think I feel happy. happy. I actually feel happy. Happy. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on some sort of drug right now. Drug? I'm on some sort of drug. No, I'm stay here. He said I'll feel happy. I'm feeling happy. The man just whacked me some E, and then he just bounced. Is like, stay here. No? Well, I feel like that's going to disappear in a sec. Once that disappears, then I can move. Do I move yet? Yep. God? Whoever's talking to me right now? Alright, screw it. No, wait. Where are you going? Okay, I'll go back. Right. Where were we? Am I literally... Am I genuinely meant to just stay here? How long am I meant to stay here? Is he trying to make me just stay here for like, forever? That, nah. I can't. I can't just stay there. Sorry, man. Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! We'll lose all of this! Well don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt myself. I'm good. I'm all Gucci Please, on Please, no Stanley! Let me stay here! Don't take this from me! What? Why the- uh, There's nothing there. Screw it. Please, no! <laughs> Worth it. Oh. Oh, and that I survived. Thank God, you lived. No, no, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Surely I've broken a leg. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Okay. Can you do that for me? I mean, there's yes. nothing else to do, is there? Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. So when is this going to reset, though? You'll see, you'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? What do you mean? Like, what's going on? Where? Why am I looking? At, why am I? I'm just. I didn't realize Stanley. This is called like Stanley Mushroom. What? Oh. It's getting darker. Oh, once they go, surely. Surely that's the end. Disappear. What's going on? What's going on these days? People are jumping from buildings and not dying. People are being mind controlled. I don't get it. So now what? My god. Is this really how much you dislike my game? Where? You'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally yes. willing to kill yourself to keep yes. me from being happy. Shut you're up! reading the situation correctly. Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. How do I end this? But I guess that was too much to ask. It was. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. 
Let me die! Okay. Do I die this one? It's yes! Going Good. It's going to restart, isn't it? Yes! I'm going back. I didn't like that ending. I didn't like that one. I wanna I wanna do the I wanna do the, the input thing. Like if I do it like five times. Okay, it's not on there. Okay, All which of computer? His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? No computer there. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps no he had there. simply missed a memo. Next one. It's gonna be in this room. Not that. Not that. Not that. What? Where where were the other computers? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his I'll left. go I'll go to the left. But I need to find another computer. Yet there was not a single person here either. No Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley I'm decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to you know his what? boss's nah. office. I went downstairs. And now what, punk? You now what? I went downstairs, bitch. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. Okay. He might be fired for that. And I in mean, such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Yeah. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Like for what? example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why oh, did yeah. doors close automatically behind him I wanted wherever that he one. went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. One, two, B, but four. Last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Right, oh, what? Wait. This is all a dream. Wait. Oh, what a relief One, two, B, Stanley four. felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers yes. weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. I and he thought mm. to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Well, just have a wank. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. What? Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, what? and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Which Why is? is there a voice in my head dictating yeah, no, that's everything true, that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly No, strange. no, no, you're fucking with my head. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't I've have to do I've been drugged, I told you! Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars yeah. just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. Okay. This was a dream. How? How? So he closed his eyes gently. No. And he invited himself to wake up. Wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket. Wake up, Stanley. Skin, the press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. And then? I wish it to be over. And then? Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. 
I want my apartment and my wife and my job. I'm All so I confused. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Okay, now what? Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. What? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? What do you mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. What do you mean? Whoa, she whoa. She rose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who okay. had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. So either escape or kill ourselves. Dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. I got some Everyone knows curled what toes. crazy people look like. My toes and in that this. moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I look like the G-Mod character. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she You're remembered welcome. the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And You're by welcome. extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down. This is the morbid, right? <laughs> and then she turned and ran. Well, that was morbid. Okay, I want to. I want to get like one or two more. I want to get one or two more endings. I think there's. I don't know how many there are. Is the thing, but I want to get one or two more because I know which ones Stanley I want to get. decided to go to the meeting room to check on his Just co-workers. See. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from see. others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. If there's any of these are on. Where's the input ones? Okay. I want to go down to I want to go to my bosses. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. Yep. He entered the door on his left. I did. Good job. So I want to go in here. I want to go up to my yes, bosses. There was not a single but then when I go down the elevator, either. there was there was an option to escape. Disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, a... Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. There wasn't that much downstairs, was there? Wasn't here. Oh, okay. I can do that one too. Wait, what's this side? Okay. Hey, boss man. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley oh, it's was here. once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Why is it what let me do it here? What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, what was desperate it? for clues to his situation. Two, eight, but his seven, attention was caught by a four? keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? What was it? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. That was it. But of course, Stanley couldn't get incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to what? input the correct code oh, okay. by sheer luck. Amazing. Oh, I thought I could have guessed. I he thought stepped I could have into fallen the down there. opened passageway. Let's go. Ah, I want to try this ending. And I want to try... I don't know. I don't want to... You know what? I might just do this ending and then... See if you guys want to see the rest. Because I don't know if you guys want to see more. Actually, I'll do one more. I'll do one more ending. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door. So this one. Mind escape. Control facility. It's a big escape. Although this passageway nope, had the I didn't. word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? I don't want to go down here now. The I'm door still going behind to. him was not shut. 
Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Mm -hmm. At this I point, ain't going back. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and yep. willingly confront his death. Yep. Yep, I will die. I will I will take my death. Hey gang. Oh, oh. No, I actually did die. Okay. No. <laughs> that didn't work at all. I thought I thought it was a troll. Cuz you know this guy makes me want to like Oh, wait. What? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence what? whatsoever. No! Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever Please. in a narrow vision of what this world is. Please! His death was of no great loss. Please! The eyeballs from a blind oh, man. Oh. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. I'm the next. I'm next. There, Paul Stanley. No! If I crouch you and they won't see me. Ah! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What? They lied to me. You lied to me. All these times I've said that I love you. The and Stanley. yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in what? his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Where the hell when am I? every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, what? death becomes meaningless, making life the same. What? Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Mad! Office layout! Oh, so I start there, then there's those, and then I walk around there, and yeah, and I go here, and then I have the choice. So I was... I've always been dead. The office. Yo, this is weird. Button sounds. A selection of the sounds used throughout the game. So, have I literally just completed it? Turn that off. Solitaire! Oh. Okay. Left to right, left to right. Let's go left. What's left? I'm... I'm baffed, you know. Maintenance room. Scanner. That's where I put my ass cheeks. What's that? War zone. Where is this? End up in a battlefield fighting aliens. We realized shortly after starting to build it, this was far too joking on the nose of the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Ah, that'd have been sick. I'm, I'm genuinely baffled right now. What is this? What do the lights in the control room do? I really want to know. Generator, how do you stay in shape? What is this? Wait, what happens when he gets- Wait, what? Wait. What? The apartment? Where was that? Oh, here we go. Meeting room. One option. Disobey, obey, staircase, lounge. Oh. Oh, vent. Ooh. Okay, so if you go, ooh, you go right, and then you can go into the vent. Mad. This is this is ridiculous. This game is. Like I haven't seen half this stuff. Where am I going? Exit. <laughs> Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can well. you see? Can well. you see how much they need one another? No. No. 
Perhaps not. See? Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can what? still no, 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 no. too. You can stop the program before they both How? fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward. Oh. She actually means press you'll quit. be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. No. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't no. let time I wasn't I wasn't gonna quit. I wasn't gonna quit there, am I? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just start the game again. Is that one like the mad ending? Is that like the, the actual ending of the game? I think that is actually the ending of the game. I think that I even though I said I was gonna do another one, I think that is genuinely like the end. There are other endings. If you want me to try and find them, let me know. I will try, but yeah, I mean, realistically, I have to do that. That's it for the day on Stanley Parable. I don't really know what this game is. It's kind of odd, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. 